guys, it's me, the Kid Scientist, and today we're going to teach you how to make homemade battle bots with remote control cars, so let's get to it. When I was trying to make my cars, like my battle bots, I went into this teensy problem. When I go like that, they both go off because they have the same channel thing on them. So we're going to try and get a new car or make another design. So we got this car for ten dollars, and it has two frequencies, so it doesn't get mixed up like the other ones did. This is very, very cool for um, these cars are pretty cool on their own. See how it has like that really cool thing like that. I don't know how it does that. Like you go up. So we're just gonna put this on top to see like if it can fit on there. All you need to make of these battle bots is some remote control cars and some duct tape. So when you duct tape this on, make sure that the car that you choose to be the weaponized one is facing back, like upside down. Like, oh guys, you know how this is like a flippy car that one right there. Um, but we're attaching the, um, the other car to the, the, the front. So when it drives, it doesn't flip. We're just duct taping it. So change of plans, guys. So I'm gonna have to make mine like, like this. And technically we can't build another one because this one's motor broke on this side. My dad's gonna have to use this car, which we're gonna take off the lid off of. So it broke like the second time we used this, which is only for like five, 10 minutes. So the motor's broken on that side, but on this side, get a nice clean dental sound or something. You get what you pay for, basically. You probably sell these for a lot cheaper than $10. We're gonna be taking off the wheels, taking this thing apart, like taking these off, like not, take these off, and then we're gonna be taking off the shell, if that makes sense. And you know what's smart about this thing? It has a magnetic end. I don't, I'm not sure if my dad used a mag, his magnetizer to do this or if it came like this. But it's pretty cool. And now we're just going to take this thing off. Okay. Oh no, there's not. So look, it's this is what the motor looks like after a bunch of stuff we've done. And look, you, these are actually spinning, so when you stop it, and the centrifugal force, I think. Yeah, it's definitely centrifugal. It's not falling down anywhere I let go. It kind of falls. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It tickles. and then we're going to be attaching the button edge. I mean, of doom. <laughs> so when this goes back and forth, it doesn't hit the, that wheel creating friction. This is what it looks like. And we're going to attach the, ne the button knife so to, to this. So when it spins like that, it won't hit the wheel. This is what it looks like. My God, that's powerful. Like, I think that could break a can open. Like the, the amount of force that has, like mm -hmm. it. We literally clobbered it, oh my god.
trampoline soccer. balanced so like one knife end is facing this way the other one's facing that way so This one and that one can buy fight. And you see what this thing can do. It scratched the car. I don't know if you can see this. Though. And look, it's one there. Like, see those little marks? Right where my think It's a little mark there. And that's from the knife hitting it. I had a lot of fun making this. And yeah. it was really fun. It might have took a little while. We're finally finished. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!